Hello everybody, today we're going to try something a little bit different. It's a 2024 battle between Joe Biden and Donald Trump, but it's going to be a spinner battle. We've done the coin flips, we've done the dice battles, we're still going to do those. I've got a lot of suggestions coming up. I'm not sure if I can get to all of them, but we're going to try the inaugural spin battle. This spinner is courtesy of Google, and we've got the two main guys here, Biden and Trump. Biden is going to be number one, Trump is going to be number two. The winner gets the state, it's as simple as that. Definitely check out my previous coin flip and dice battles with these two let's see who can win this very first one and let's not waste any more time let's dive straight into this we're going to start in alaska let's see who gets the very first spin here it comes and this is going to go to oh just over the line that's going to be joe biden taking alaska and we're underway next state hawaii here it comes this is going to go to dt donald trump he's on the board his first state is hawaii back up here to washington that's the next spin, and this is going to go to Donald Trump. He's got two in a row, and the next spin is going to be Oregon. Eight electoral votes. This is going to go back to Joe. He's got him. And now we've got the huge state. Everybody knows it's California. 54 electoral votes. Somebody's going to jump ahead here with a nice lead. It's Donald Trump. He takes California. He's going to get all those votes. Next state, Nevada. This will be a competitive state in 2024. Who's going to get it in the spin battle? It's going to be Donald Trump, two in a row for him. Here comes Idaho, four more electoral votes. Donald Trump, a little bit of a streak here early on. Next state, Utah, six electoral votes. Trump has four straight. See if Biden can respond here on Arizona. 11 electoral votes. That's a good amount. Biden does get them. Next state, Montana. Four electoral votes. Donald Trump. That takes him to 90. Next state, Wyoming. Only three electoral votes. The Joe Biden. He wants those. Next state, we've got Colorado. Double digit of electoral votes. And that's going to go to Joe Biden. He's got all those. New Mexico. Can Biden go three straight? He can't. Donald Trump cuts into that streak. Now we go up to North Dakota. Three electoral votes. Donald Trump again has those. Here's South Dakota. Another three electoral votes. Looks like Joe has those. And that takes us down to Nebraska. We got to do at large first. That has two electoral votes. That goes to Joe Biden. And now we have Nebraska's first congressional district. That's going to Biden. Here's Nebraska's second. Looks like that. Ooh, right on the line. But it does go to Joe Biden. Here's Nebraska's third. Donald Trump gets on the board here in Nebraska. Claims one electoral vote. Let's go down to Kansas. That's the next spin. Here it comes. Donald Trump. He's got six more electoral votes. He's over 100. Oklahoma. That is the next spin. And that's going to Biden. Now we've got Texas, Joe Biden, he is in a little bit of a funk here. He needs these 40 electoral votes, so he'd love to get this state. Trump would also love to have a massive lead. Let's see who gets Texas. Here it is. Does go to Joe Biden. Biden right back in this thing at 89. Trump 105. Minnesota, that's the next spin. And Donald Trump doesn't let Biden get any momentum off Texas. He takes Minnesota, and now we've got Iowa six electoral votes those are going to joe missouri is the next roll and that is going to be going to joe biden here comes arkansas six electoral votes at stake biden has three straight very close match now as we have louisiana can biden jump in the lead here on louisiana looks like he can biden in the lead now 119 to 115. Now we're going to cross the Mississippi River. We're going to go back up to Wisconsin. That has 10 electoral votes. And these are going to go to Joe Biden. Biden has five straight. Let's see if Trump can answer that on Illinois. A lot of votes here. 19 at stake, but Joe Biden, he's not letting up. Let's go to Michigan. 15 electoral votes going to Donald Trump right over the line. Trump ends Biden's streak. Let's see if he can get any momentum here on Indiana. That's going to go back to Biden. Here's Kentucky. That's the next spin. Going to Biden. How about Tennessee? 
11 more electoral votes. Donald Trump has those. Now we've got to go down to the Deep South into Mississippi. Six more electoral votes. Trump has those. Here comes Alabama. That's the next spin. Trump now with three in a row. He still trails Biden by 11. But now we've come to Florida. That's a huge state. 30 electoral votes. It's going to be Trump's home state. Biden would absolutely love to get this state. Let's see who gets it. Here comes the spin. Who's going to get it? It's going to be Donald Trump. He wins his home state. He has four straight. And Trump is actually back in the lead now. But we've got Georgia next. That has a lot of votes, 16 of them. Let's see who's going to get them. It's going to be Donald Trump. Trump having a nice streak here in the South and in the Sun Belt. See if it continues on South Carolina. Nope, Joe Biden, he gets those. Trump is over 200 at 202, 176 for Biden. Here comes North Carolina. Big chunk of votes here, 16 of them going to Donald Trump. Now we got to jump up to Ohio. Who wants these 17 electoral votes? Somebody's going to get them. Looks like it's Donald Trump. He's got them. How about West Virginia? Only four electoral votes. I bet Biden would take them anyway, and he's got them. Now we go to Maine at large. Two electoral votes. These are going to go to Donald Trump. How about Maine's first congressional district? This is going to go to Joe Biden. And Maine's second. How about that one? One more electoral vote coming to Donald Trump. There it is. Next spin is going to be for New Hampshire. Four electoral votes. Coming to Donald Trump. Now we're going to head into some traditionally blue states. Vermont is first. Joe Biden, he would love to get these three electoral votes, and he does get them. He's going to need more than that because Trump is already at 242. And actually, if Donald Trump wins New York, that would put him exactly at 270. So this is a perilous spin here for Biden. He's got to win the state or else it's all over. Let's see what happens. 28 electoral votes at stake. The election is on the line right here. Here it comes. Biden claims New York and he stays alive. That takes him over 200. Now we've got Massachusetts next. 11 electoral votes at stake. Joe Biden now two in a row. Biden catching up now as we head into Connecticut. Seven electoral votes. Those are going to Donald Trump. Rhode Island is next. Only four electoral votes. But they're crucial. Donald Trump has those. Next state, New Jersey. 14 electoral votes. Let's see who gets these. These are going to go to Joe Biden. And now how about Delaware? That's a familiar state for Joe Biden. He would really love to get these three electoral votes. And they do go to Joe Biden. This is a close match. We've got Maryland next. Ten electoral votes. Who's going to get these? Just going to Joe Biden. Look at that. 250 to 253. And that takes us to Washington, D.C. Three electoral votes. I'm sweating it out. Who's it going to go to? Donald Trump, he gets those. Now we've got two more states. Pennsylvania, Virginia. And it looks like we could actually see a tie here if Biden picks up Pennsylvania. And if Donald Trump picks up Virginia, that's going to be a tie. So that's an interesting scenario. Trump would love to get Pennsylvania here and shut Biden out. Let's see who gets it. Let's spin it. Here it comes. It goes to Donald Trump. He takes Pennsylvania. And that does barely put him over 270. Donald Trump clinches this first spinner battle, but this was a nail biter down to the end. We do have one state left. It's Virginia. Let's see who gets it. And Donald Trump puts a little something extra on top. He does get Virginia. And there's your final map, 288 for Donald Trump, 250 for Joe Biden. Trump wins a close one. This had a ton of suspense throughout, a few lead changes. This was a good first spin battle. Donald Trump, though, continues to dominate Biden in these hypotheticals. But take a look at that map. Biden did pick up big states, Texas, Illinois, New York. Donald Trump countered with California and Florida. There's no way this map would ever happen, but this turned out to be a fun one. Let me know in the comments, did you enjoy this spinner battle? And if you do have suggestions, keep in mind, it could take a long time for me to get to them. I've got a lot of coin flips, dice battles, and other videos to get to. 
But either way, let me know your thoughts down below. On your way out, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Follow me on Twitter. Thanks for watching. I will see you on the next video.